So let's try to use the definition of inductance to find the inductance of an ideal solenoid. So there's your solenoid. It has a certain number of turns, n, and the magnetic flux through each turn is phi b, and the current is i. So the definition of the inductance, we said it's n phi over i. And in this case, the length of the inductor, the length of the solenoid is, is d. So if you remember, the magnetic field inside an ideal solenoid was mu naught n i, where small n is the total number of turns over the total length. And the magnetic flux is b times the area. And b is just this. When you substitute, you get mu naught n i times the area. <coughs> Now substitute to get L, you have the N, there's the N, and then you have phi over I, there's the phi, and there's the I. When you divide phi by I, you get mu naught Na. And if you want, you can write small n as capital N over D. So you have two capital Ns and one D in the denominator. So this is another way of writing the inductance. And if you want to go a bit further to change the, the way the, the formula is written, you can multiply up and down by d, and you can take the area, the cross-sectional area, times the total length, and write that as the volume of the solenoid. And then the d squared, you can combine the two d's, you have d squared in the denominator, and you have n squared over d squared, which is small n squared. So you can write down the inductance also in this way, in terms of the volume and small n. So again, clearly the inductance depends only on the geometry of the problem.